So welcome back to my Accounting 101 series of courses. These are courses designed to help business owners and anyone else trying to enhance their skills in accounting and finance. Hi, my name is Chris Passmore and I'm your social media CPA. So today we're going to talk about the fundamental equation that all accounting is built on. It's the basic accounting equation of assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And you can make the joke that's why accountants are well-balanced people. It's because the entire premise of accounting is this balancing equation of assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So if you think about that in terms of a balance sheet, this is one of the common financial statements that I've explained in my prior videos, is that the total amount of a company's assets, that could be your cash, your accounts receivable, your fixed assets, equals an amount that is then the same amount as if you add up the total of your liabilities, your accounts payable, and your stockholders' equity. And so on a balance sheet, you'll see two sections, total assets, total liabilities and owner's equity, and those are always the same amount. And it all is built up from this fundamental equation. So I just want to focus on one thing today. It's just why does this concept work? And actually, there's some beauty in its simplicity. If you think about the whole point of having a for-profit business, it's to what? It's to make a profit. It's to make income, to return something to the owners of the company. So, how do you translate that intent into a mathematical equation that will allow you to record your activity on your general ledger? So let's break this down, let's think about it. So you want to make money and so you want to have assets. So to me, in my eyes, the asset section of your balance sheet is what you've earned, this is the money that you've received, this is maybe what you've been paid by your customers or clients. So then on the other side of the equation is your liabilities. I think of this in relation to the expenses of the company. So this is the amount that you paid out to make your goods before you sold them. And so if you think about that, you have your assets on one side and have your liabilities on, one so on the other side, and that's your cost of doing business. If you are in fact in the business to make money, those are never going to be the same. You're not going to sell your asset or your goods for the same price that you bought it to make it because you're, at that point you're not making any money, you're breaking even. So the idea of taking liabilities plus owner's equity is to make these two sections or these two offsetting concepts balance. So the liabilities plus owner's equity is another way of saying liabilities, your expenses, plus your profit. Now when you add up those two things, it should be equal to your assets or maybe what you charged to your customers for your goods. And so stockholders equity includes a number of different things, but generally if you think about it as retained earnings or profit of your company, then all of a sudden this concept starts to make sense. The money you received in payment equals the money that you paid to make your good plus your profit. And now these two come into balance and validate that you're recording your activity correctly in your general ledger. So again, if you take a step back and think about the simplicity of the basic accounting equation, it makes a lot of sense. So. If you have to learn one thing about accounting, it's the basic equation. Assets equals liabilities plus stockholders equity. So if you have any questions about this concept, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to talk about it. Remember to follow and like for more accounting on 101 courses. And I'm always available to talk further on my website, socialmediacpa.com.